I had got here at Team Animal Great, man. I'm pretty sure you're excited for April 21st, Rising Warriors 6. Absolutely. 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 It's got to be a great event. You know, Smith and the Soul. Three of them. Three. I know you're pretty excited. Yes, Smith and the Soul is going up against Wesley Barnes. Yes, you know, she is. Which is going to be a great, great event. He's in the tournament for 5,000. Wesley Barnes, pretty much a ground guy. Smith and the Soul, I think he's pretty good on the feet and also on the ground. What do you expect? I expect those two to have a fight in the night. I really do. I expect it to start fast, and I'm pretty sure it's going to finish fast. We're working on finishing our way, so Wesley wants it to finish his way. He's a tough kid. He's a really good wrestler. He's got solid ground skills. They're very good tomorrow. And uh, Smith, Smith's really good on his feet. I feel we have the dominant striker. I feel we have the strong feet. Um, Smith doesn't have the pedigree in wrestling that wrestling has, but I still believe we have the stronger wrestler. And uh, this will fight nice for us, so we can work this out. That's true, man. Wesley did a really good job against Robert Reed. He did a really good job keeping him on the ground. I believe Robert was like 12 and 1 in before that fight. Yes. Barnes did a really good job beating him and basically taking him to the ground and dominating him. Watching that fight, what do you guys think Smith needs to do? Dominating wrestling. It's simple. Our game plan is to come out, start fast, capitalize on Wesley's mistakes. And really just beat that edge. I like that. BJ Conner, another guy. Yeah. 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 He did a really good job against Anthony T. Dunn Johnson in the last ride. That was more than a good job. That was an assault. That was a great, great job. Very hard puncher. Very good sparring. And also, T. Bone Johnson, they're both, both their first fights. I'm pretty sure BJ was very good. The difference is um, T. Bone seems like a really nice guy. I know he's been training a long time. Yeah. BJ is very good. Natural athlete, great body feel, very athletic. And as Coach Daniel was saying, BJ, we got him at 350 pounds, and the man moves 1 to 185. There's nothing he hasn't been able to learn. The learning curve of BJ has been unbelievable. And uh, he really is a problem for anybody in the panel to see. It's pros that have brought him to school with him. Nothing good works for him. That's great. Now, this next fight coming up, what do you, what do you think is going to be? Same there? thing. Same thing? Same thing. You can't take that man down. I don't know. Look, I, I, I'm sorry if you had to call his name. Um, I know he's supposed to be a wrestler. And lots of wrestlers have tried to take him down. That man has legs like both trees, and he's got a real solid base. Um, I'll tell you our game plan is to knock you out. We can build a plan around that. So 3-0 the next Rising Warrior? 3-0 is what we're going for. Our surprise coming out of the box is Mr. Garrett. Um, Garrett is going to come out and shock everybody. Garrett is our secret weapon. He is our alpha male. And uh, everybody will see him in his debut. Can't wait. Thanks for coming on the Feast TV. Thanks a lot. Kendra Thomas on the Fuse TV with Danny Babcock from Team Animal. How's everything going? Good. Now, you were in the corner with DJ Cole in the last fight. We tried a really quick fight. I'm pretty sure you got a lot of guys are excited. He's going to be fighting the next event. What do you think of that? Same thing. Same exact thing that he did in his first fight. Um, might be a little quicker. Be nice. Um, same exact thing for him. Yeah. Exactly. To the T. Now, his last fight against the ABT team on the dot really fast. Was that your prediction over to Everything we, uh, game plan came out, and I told him it was going to be a quick fight. He's going to go out, leg kick him, hit him, hit him in the face. He's going down, and that's what happened. BJ's really athletic for how big he is. He's 350 pounds, and he moves like he's 205. Now, this next fight, I'm not pretty sure who this fight is. You guys think familiar with this? Uh, it's the guy's debut. They said he's, a, I, if I'm correct, he's a wrestler. So he's going to try to take BJ down. He's going to pull a punch and try to take him down. Yeah. Now, Smith Amosel has got a really good fight coming up. He's in the tournament for 5,000. It's Wesley Barnes. I spoke with Wesley Barnes the other day. He thinks he's going to be pretty, pretty much a walkthrough. We all say about that. Nothing's ever a walk through, but um, that's what he thinks. Good for him, because uh, we think the opposite. We think Smith has to do to go out there. Smith is the stronger opponent. Um, he needs to go out there and oppose his will. Be first. Let his hands go and defend Wesley's shot. Now Wesley Barnes is more of a ground guy. Correct. What do you think Smith has to do to be able to basically beat him at his game, or if that's a game? Smith needs to let his hands go and defend 
the shot and take him down when Smith wants to take him down, not when Wesley wants him down. What's your prediction? I predict Smith is going to go out there and get a TKO. Yeah, any other fighters out there in the tournament that you're pretty impressed with? In the tournament, I haven't really been following only the people that we are fighting at the current moment. So. I haven't really been following the other guys. I didn't think Smith's last fight was this is Same thing, but the, the guy he's fighting now is a better wrestler. And he's a little bit more controlled on the ground. The last guy he just fought was good on the ground. I guess he's supposed to be a striker, but he looked like he was good on the ground. And Smith adapted it well to the game plan that he switched in the moment of the fight. And listen. Smith is also better on the cage than Wesley. And I'm pretty sure Smith is a lot stronger than Wesley, too. That's great. Kenner Thomas on the Fuse TV. It really makes a lot. Thank you. Kenner Thomas here on the Fuse TV with Jeff Savoy from Team Animal. How's things going? Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Very well. Great man. How long have you been involved with Team Animal? Um, I've been training with Team Animal for probably about five years. Um, I was uh, the gym manager for a while when we were down in Port St. Lucie. Um, I met him, you know, just because I wanted to fight. I wanted to get in with a, um, a team that actually you know, spends time in the cage. Um, they have a really specific style. Um, it's a little bit different than my style, but, you know, I, I wanted to learn how to defend against it. Um, I learned a lot of stand up. Uh, you know, Marco's a great uh, Muay Thai coach, great cage work. Um, and I, I guess now that you know we got back together, it's been about five years now. That's good, man. Now Smith is actually driving for five thousand dollars. I mean, I'm so excited! Uh, it's going to be, be, be a great event, April twenty first. I mean, what are you doing? You know, him training here and being able to go out there, and you can really go on his hands. He's a really good ground guy as well. I think it's going to work out. You know what? I think that it all comes down to if um, you know we can stick to his game plan. Um, you know, I, you know, I'd love to see him go out there and win my high, highlight reel. But you know, again, I told you that's not. Team Animal has a specific style. You know, is to grind it out and make it horrible for the guy that gets fight. And that's what I think he's going to do. You know? Um, I, you know, I've been working on him with escaping back positions, which is you know, something that everyone has to work on. Um, you know, give him some uh, some offensive moves on the ground. But you know, it, it, it's going to be a grind out fight. He's just going to make it horrible for the guy. And you know, at that point, um, you know, if he sees no one, he'll go for it. Great. He's going against Wesley Barnes. Is actually a good guy. How do you think that works? Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's his defense. I, you know what? I think it probably gives him the advantage. Um, I'm not sure how long the guy's been training. Um, you know, obviously his other fight, um, sort of style. Um, but you know, it doesn't matter how good you are in a ground because when you know you start getting hit in the face, you know, the composure you can have when you're just doing jiu-jitsu is different. Um, you know, there's an old saying that I think that came from Carlson Gracie is, you know, you take a black belt, you learn jiu-jitsu, and you hit him in the face a couple times, and he comes around belt. You hit him a couple more times, and before you know it, blue belt. Right? So. You know, obviously that you know that has something to say when it comes to ground fighting. You got to be able to deal with the strikes. And um, Smith's ready. You know what I mean? He trains like a, a maniac. He's got a great attitude. I think the first day I met him was the thing I was most impressed with. When I talked to Coach Marco. I was like, this kid's got a great attitude. You know what I mean? If he sticks with his attitude. That's good. Another fighter also, BJ Tommy, with a pretty good fight against Anthony Tibbetts. Uh, Rise of Warrior Five. First time knockout. What was your thoughts about it? My thought is, is I hope I can run faster than him. <laughs> no, he's, he's killing. You know, the guy is, uh, his legs and you know his low center of gravity. You know, he knows how to use it. You know, his football background gives him you know, phenomenal footwork. You know, people think he's going to be quicker than him. Well, guys who usually play football have pretty good side to side lateral motion. Uh, he's got good agility. Um, you know, he. Uh, the other thing too is he likes to get and to be an MMA fighter, <laughs> that's what you need to do. How do you think it's going to work out in the next fight? I'm not pretty sure who he's going to be fighting, but I know it's going to be a heavyweight match. Yeah, he's a heavyweight, so he likes to fight heavyweights. That's what he's going to be out there. Um, you know, I, obviously I'd like to see him cut some weight, um, come down, you know, get to a level where he makes it grow. You know, he's going to be used to fighting at the 265 limit. In amateur, I got to know they like, you know, the, the weight 
last one. Um, but at some point, he's going to have to decide to cut some weight. Um, I think that's just going to benefit him. Right? It's going to make him more of a beast. It's going to make him more of a beast. Um, and uh, again, how's it going to work out for him? He's going to have a certain style where you're not used to going against that grind that you're against the cage style. Um, it, it's horrible. It's really what it is. You know, it's, it's one of the reasons why me and Marco put them signed so well together is that his stand-up style is a similar, um, what we're trying to get to in the end is very similar in which my ground style is going to be horrible for you, so give me what I'm looking for. That's the same thing they do. They just do a standing up and against the cage. Um, and when he would coach me all the time, he always used to tell me, just take what you do on the ground and bring it into your stand-up. Um, so for anyone that comes and you know, trains a team animal and um, here at my school um, in Fort Pierce, they call them in the sportsplex, you get the best of both worlds. You know, there's finesse fighters that like to work at finesse, and other guys that like to grind it out. And um, I like to have the whole ball. You gotta be well balanced. That's true. This is a boy. Nice speaking with you guys. Also, I'm glad you guys came up.